new weight promoting substance which is called solidamphetol um, maybe a bit of a difficult name for weight promoting agent not easy to to pronounce and um, this has been studied in long-term studies and short-term studies over four weeks, over 12 weeks, over six months. And one part of it has been studied in uh, patients with narcolepsy and obstructive sleep apnea with excessive daytime sleepiness, with remaining excessive daytime sleepiness. And um, it has proven to be uh, very efficacious in reducing EPRIS sleepiness scale to an amount which is in the mean almost underneath 10 points in the upper sleepiness scale, which is a cutoff point for uh, sleepiness, and it has been able to reduce the MW sleep latency on the uh, ma maintenance and wakefulness test for uh, up to 12 minutes, uh, dose dependently. So the dosages that have been used in the studies were titrated to 30 uh, 37.5 milligrams, uh, 75 milligrams, 150, and 300, and the effects were dose dependent. So one of the studies were the, uh, was a study on the adherence to CPAP devices, um, either CPAP devices or other devices for treatment of uh, sleep apnea in patients that were adherent to the therapy and to patients that were non-adherent to therapy to look if it changed, it ha had an impact on the adherence to their present therapy. Um, and in these patients, in this 12-week study, it was looked at the number of nights they used their devices or did not use their present therapy uh, in the non-adherent ones. Um, if they use it more than half of the nights and uh, <clears throat> what was coming out that there was no impact on of uh, the use of uh, sorry amphetol on the adherence neither in the non adherent group of OSA, uh, OSA patients uh, and not in the adherent group if they were treated with sorry amphetol or if they were on the placebo didn't didn't matter However, it increased the sleep latency on the MWT uh, dose dependently, as it was seen before, and uh, it reduced the uh, uh, score of the upper sleepiness scale, as has been shown in other studies before. So the other point was about the study. Um, did it do anything? Oh, how, how was the safety? And the safety profile was there were no uh, there was just one uh, severe treatment emergent uh, adverse event so it was really a rather small amount and the normal side effects you would is, uh, expect from a weight promoting agent which is um, an increase uh, of anxiety and nausea irritation but not really a big eff uh, effect on insomnia which you could also expect so this was one part, and you can conclude it is uh, it has a good prof profile concerning side effects, and it doesn't have an impact on the adherence to um, OSA therapy, which is very important because you could think, oh, maybe patients that use this medication, or maybe if it's uh, approved in Europe or in the United States. Could might not use their devices anymore.